This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freekeen.com. All right, so I'm uh, standing here, actually sitting here, <laughs> with Leah from, from where, and you'll see why we're sitting in the parking lot in just a sec. Um, you have gotten involved in uh, uh, an allegedly crazy project that I'm uh, heading up called the Little Free Surplus Project. Tell me what you think it is and why you got involved. Um, well, I've been thinking of um, having like kind of a little free library and um, I saw your video about um, a little free surplus, and I was like, well, I have space, and, and you know, um, it just seemed, you know, very simple. It's like small household items that can be used in the event of, you know, some kind of crisis, and, you know, they don't take up much, much space, and it's just a little little package of, um, you know, various things in it that could be useful, so I figure I can, I can take on some of that and be like an outpost for for the stuff that you need if people need it. Yeah, uh, one idea that I don't know if I've actually ever really shared this with you or not, but one thought was like, you know, this is this is not very this is not very valuable stuff, right? It's very, it's on the border of being trash and it was on, all of it was on its way to the trash basically. Um, and uh, the idea is that you know, yeah, it's not useful right now to any great extent, but if we, if we project ourselves about, you know, two weeks into a disaster, if the electricity's off for two weeks or something like that, then you're probably going to get refugees at your house, mm. you know, or our relatives or something like that. And uh, you could just throw all this at them if you wanted to. It's that, it's, it's low quality enough and low grade enough that even during a disaster, you might not need it. And that means it's possibly useful for, for refugees. At least that's my thinking. Yeah. You just point them at the. You can just point them at the shed that it's in. Right. That's my hope, anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple and stuff that's easy to come by. Yeah. So what we're in need of right now probably is, um, uh, you know, I, I have trouble getting this stuff around around the state to wherever it needs to go. So if there's more people who are going to be passing through Winchester or Keene for some reason or another then I can, uh, you know, I can give you what I've collected and you can give me what you've collected. And, uh, you know, it would operate a little bit like a, a little bit like a little free library, except it's, it's considered really junk until there's a disaster. Right. And then you need it. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other, any other thoughts, Leah? Um, no, just, uh, you know, anyone wants to get involved just you know give give a couple of these these things like you know it's just simple stuff like i brought alcohol prep pads and yeah right you brought some stuff to trade to me too while i and, brought this for you yeah so we're trading and if you want to get involved and just have like a small space it doesn't take much room in it that you could just keep you know a bin full of the little packages and could serve as an outpost for people. What do you think about the debate? I mean, like, there's some of the people commenting on the on the video that I did where I showed some of this stuff before, and they said this is too much like trash. You know, it's it's it, you, hoarding trash. One guy said is not prepping. Mm. <laughs> do, do you do you, do you that. think that I'm push, pushing too far in the direction of trash? Um, no, I don't think it's uh, you know it's it's close to trash, but that's the point of it. You know, it's stuff that nobody like needs right now. So you know. Like, say there's, like, a flood, you know, and aid isn't getting to people in time. You know, we have a huge dam system up here. If one of those ever broke, you know, and we were all flooded out, you know, I might need matches, <laughs> you know. And if my neighbor has a stockpile of stuff like this that's, you know, simple and, and I know that they have it, I can come and find them. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Leah. I know you got to go. I'm going to keep talking to the camera a little bit. Uh. Uh, the uh, one other thought that I had, uh, Wes, or what was his, what was his name? Uh, Denzel Washington in the uh, in that movie uh, Book of Eli, he says um, people had no idea what was precious and what was not. They threw away things people kill for today. So that's that's sort of the motto, the adopted motto of the Little Free Surplus Project. And you can find more about it at RidleyReport.com, of course. And click about after you get to RidleyReport.com, which is just my YouTube channel. All right. See you guys.
What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com